this is not a clickbait. Ghana truly does want uh, to bid for the 2038 FIFA World Cup. We'll look at uh, the details of this ambitious bid coming in from Ghana, whether it's feasible or it's just plain wishful thinking and uh, the things we need to put in place uh, for something as dramatic as this uh, to happen. Also we'll hear from Baby Jetta Samwajan who is in Morocco and uh, what he said in that interview from Morocco, I'll link it to this bid story here for the 2038 World Cup by Ghana. As usual, subscribe if you have not, uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. First off, let me start off by saying that it is not impossible. Ghana or any country for that matter can't do anything. However, uh, the problem begins or it becomes near to impossible uh, when we try to skip some steps in getting there. Given some people might be fortunate enough uh, to not follow the steps and get there, but uh, more often than not, uh, the help they get in reaching where they can make such an audacious bid as a World Cup bid is uh, something that is born out of uh, the efficient use of resources either by the government in charge or by the football association. Uh, that uh, unfortunately has not been the case for Ghana in recent times. Uh, the news broke yesterday, a graphic online, that Ghana has uh, plans to bid for the 2038 World Cup. Before I delve into the details, uh, First off, we last hosted a competition of that capacity to host the continent in 2008. In the lead up to that competition, four stadiums were renovated slash built. Accra Sports Stadium, Kumase Babayara Sports Stadium, Esipon, and also uh, Tamale Stadium, currently Aliu Mahama Sports Stadium. Great architectural designs upgraded and brought up to the best of quality. Fast forward to 2023, uh, that's approximately uh, 15 years after that competition. And then we have one of our stadiums completely destroyed. That is the Esipon Stadium. The state of the Esipon Stadium right now is nothing to write home about. But that is uh, the case here in this country. The maintenance culture is uh, more of the problem than anything else. But let's look at the details of the bid and see how feasible it is. Now, Ghana is planning an ambitious bid uh, to host the World Cup in 2038 as part of a 40-year national development plan developed uh, by the National uh, Development Planning Commission. Now, the director of the NDPC, uh, Dr. Nimoy Thompson, in an interview uh, in Good Evening Ghana on Tuesday night, revealed that the bid is dependent on the country fulfilling other financial and infrastructure targets set in the draft, uh, which was handed over to the government last month. Now, according to him, as part of the long-term plan, Ghana plans to host international events like the World Cup and the Olympic Games. As part of the 40-year development plan, a new stadium called the Black Star Stadium uh, will be constructed, as you can see in the video being played on your screen right now. With the 21st century technology, uh, while the roof will be made up of solar panels, the stadium will be connected to road and rail networks. Ghana has not hosted a FIFA World Tournament or the Olympic Games in its 60-year history. It's successful. If successful, Ghana will become only the second African country after South Africa to do so. The president of the land who received the 40-year National Development Plan in, on 26 September 2017 and admitted presents my government and subsequent government to a daunting task, not so much the implementation, but to stay on track and ensure we have a desired outcome we must be able to monitor our progress and redirect our paths when we seem to be deviating from them. He continued, we must therefore make rapid progress and do things to ensure that we can achieve it. Without preempting the contents of the plan, the president, in stating some of his aspirations, was hopeful of a Ghana with a strong, buoyant economy that will provide decent jobs. Unfortunately, after this uh, plan was presented, we had a pandemic 
and uh, also um, that set us back a lot and the currently is country currently reeling and uh, trying to recover from such a setback the 40-year plan uh, was launched in 2015 a process for the preparation of a long-term development plan for the country uh, which will span beyond a period of 40 years and now the plan which was spearheaded uh, by the ndpc is aimed at shaping ghana's future and implement and complementing the existing medium-term development plans for the country basically that's what the national development uh, plan is all about uh, there's a plan which started in 2015 under the previous government the national ndc and then uh, it was proposed that, that any any party or any government that takes over will have to continue with its development that was being done by the previous government but we have the situation where a lot of other parties like not to continue what the previous party did because they would not be credited for making that development happen uh, whichever way you look at it uh, that's the conundrum we find ourselves in and in this interview on good evening ghana he says that by 2038 ghana should be able to host the world cup yes so we'll make a bid for the world cup if 2015 was the day we are working with here it means essentially and the world cup 2038 uh, is, is not very far it's, it's uh, close to 15 years away uh, well <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how things go on that front so we have essentially 15 years uh, to put things in place uh, to get ourselves possibly there to host uh, uh, the world cup do i think it's feasible in the current situation we find ourselves in in terms of infrastructure in terms of our football in terms of everything i don't think it's feasible i think it's a bit far-fetched for us we need to start from the basics and that brings me to the point of baby jetta someone chan and he has been in morocco for a while now legends are going to play a game ahead of the afghan under 23 final and baby jet has a call on ghana to learn from countries like morocco humble yourselves and learn from morocco because morocco themselves have put in world cup bids despite all the state of the art infrastructure morocco uh, we're still denied that bid. They are now looking to make a joint bid for a chance to host the competition. Hosting the World Cup is no mean feat. And to get there, you have to have the financial muscle. You have to have the necessary infrastructure. You have to have great maintenance culture. Qatar finished building their World Cup stadiums, I think two or three years in the lead up to the World Cup. You know what would have happened if they were not constantly maintaining it? We finished an AFCON in 2008 and currently the tournament stadium that we used is in Tatis, the Sipon Stadium. The Accra Sports Stadium needs a lot of maintenance work. It's not up to the international standard. We even struggled to get a stadium uh, to host CAF competitions. We did not meet CAF standards. Imagine FIFA standards. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying in the next 15 years we cannot do it. I'm saying that looking at the culture we have here, poor maintenance culture, lack of uh, investment in sports infrastructure, despite it being one of the lifebloods of the current Ghana economy, we might not meet this target and host the World Cup. But Baby Jet said uh, that uh, the country has been praised for huge investments. Now, Ghana have uh, been uh, touted as one of the beacons of hope for africa in terms of football talent uh, but uh, uh, jan posted a video of himself touring the facilities in morocco with a caption that was straightforward all africa's all-time goal scorer at the fifa world cup said it's about time we learn from morocco from what morocco is doing nobody is perfect we have to be humble and learn from each other and uh, he couldn't have said it any better. If we need to go to Morocco to learn from them, we ought to do that. Because a couple of five or ten years ago, we were leading in terms of footballing talent, footballing and everything. They decided to take a scientific approach, which has bought them fruits right now. They are going to possibly host the World Cup before we do, if we are being are quite realistic they are looking to make a bid for the 100th anniversary of the world cup in 2030 and uh, 
who is to say that they will not get it done they have invested in sports infrastructure they've invested in training their youth football players to get there up there they are invested in women's football to the point that they got all the way to the final as they just ended a women's uh, afcon which has gotten them into uh, the world cup which we played later this month they are bearing fruits not because uh, they just uh, got up one time and uh, started doing something they had a plan and it's coming into full effect now we are seeing the effect of the plan that they put in place if we want to really host this world cup in 2038 a lot of work needs to be done a lot of work at the fa a lot of work at the sports ministry a lot of work with investments and how we make them in sports infrastructure we've been to four world cups and we don't have a place where national team can officially be training we still use the Accra sports stadium which is not in the best of conditions we still lodge at Alisa Hotel when we don't have a national stadium hotel, which was promised us by the previous FA and then by this current one. It is unfortunate. Uh, looking at the problems we have, it is, in my opinion, not feasible to think of us uh, hosting a 2038 World Cup or even an Olympic Games. Even the current Olympic tournament wanted to host Africa. It has to be postponed to a later date, the All Africa Games. It goes to show we are not there yet. In the next 15 years, can we be there? It depends on the measures we put in place today and now, not some time or five years to time. But let me know what you think in the comments box. Ghana's audacious bid and plan for development of a Black Star Stadium and Ultra Modern One. What do you think about it? Possible? Feasible? Am I being too negative? Let me know your honest opinion in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend.